How's it going? Yeah. You too, in here? Sure. I'm Tom Skelly from the South Island of New Zealand. For me as a, like, as a helper or a domestic, your role is fully support in the team's ambitions for the, the overall contention, whatever that may be. To emerge at young riders level, you have to have a winner's, winner's mentality. And that means that you're actually pretty selfish and driven. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a paradox that often qualities that make riders emerge as young riders, if they don't have an absolutely top level, you know, in the world tour, those qualities aren't actually that useful at this level. And in the case of Tom, you know, his resilience, you know, to a lot of workload, and he just, can, you know, pump out the same performances day after day, and he never gets sick. Perhaps that didn't help him to emerge as a, at a lower level, but at this level, it's got a massive value. Coming from the, the continental teams where everyone could sort of have their race and have a stab, it's sort of like, well, if we're actually going to win some races, guys, we've got to have someone who wants to win it and someone who's going to help the guy to win it. You look at some of the best lead out guys in the world, and you know, when I see them doing their job, it's like that's, that's what I, I aspire to be able to do, you know, and be the reliable guy who's always going to drop off his teammates. He's a huge, he's like a, a huge motor in the team time trial, uh, can do very good TTs on his own, is, is very well in positioning, quiet guy in the team, uh, knows his job, uh, actually quite of a role model to be a good domestic. When I make lists at home for races, you know, uh, I, I'm constantly writing lists, you know, one to eight with two reserves, and there's always, you know, certain names that you write down much, much, much quicker than other names. His is always a name that I always automatically write very quickly because he's basically a guarantee. The tour continues towards the Pyrenees on stage eight with a tricky outing from Macon to Saint Etienne, 200 kilometers and almost 4,000 meters of climbing. The plan was very different to what was the race actually. The four guys jumped away and they blocked the road and unfortunately we couldn't get through, which wasn't ideal. And it wasn't the team plan, so we kind of had to readjust. We started to ride strong behind immediately. And uh, and yeah, that gave us at least a chance to, to play the stage. And then unfortunately, Woodsy crashed, you know, came from the bottom of the last climb, so that wasn't ideal, but I suppose it just happens, doesn't it, in racing? Really disappointed. <laughs> last night was not a great sleep, just because Anytime like the guys ride for me and drive, it just gets me that much more excited. You have no choice but to try and rise up. And that's what made it even more disappointing about yesterday. I think it was just one of those things where it's a bit greasy through the corner. Uh, didn't have enough weight through the outside pedal and uh, the rear wheel slid out. There was then another huge attack at the front of the peloton with just over 30 gate to go. And this time they did some serious damage. As a host of GC favorites missed the split, Pino, Fuglesang, Nibali, Iran and Port. The chase group desperately trying to scramble across, but they were unable to match the firepower of the teams up front. In the crosswind day like that, especially with the cross tailwind, uh, the splits can happen like that. Whereas on the mountains, you're going to have time, or the, the climbers are going to have time to, to move. It's not just going to go like that. Whereas it went and it was race, race over almost. Uh, so that's what worries me more than more than the mountains. Sometimes you make a plan and uh, in the end of the day it doesn't work out the way you wanted to or you wrote for. Um, so yeah, for sure, you, you win together, you lose together. We normally start the day with a, with a plan for the overall or the plan for it, how we want the stage to work out. And so long as I'm, I've done my part of the job um, and fulfilled given my best to make sure that the team's plan can work, I'm, I'm personally pretty satisfied. If it doesn't work, well then it doesn't work. Or if the guy we're riding for, whether it be Woodsy for the hilltop finish or Rigo for the overall, if they didn't have the legs or it didn't work out or something goes wrong, well then I'm just happy that I ticked my box and you know we'll try again the next day. I want everybody to do themselves justice and do what we know that they can do and I know that that's demanding because it puts expectations high but if they do everything they can 
and they put their hearts into it and they lose, it's also okay.